Let's try the key. Let's see where we are. We're on. I think we're getting a. I think we're getting a preview here. Yeah, it's a muscle. Brad's on. Hey, I think we're on. Hey, <laughs> we are there. <laughs> Is now live. Right. We are live, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. 2019. Holy cow, Joel. It seems like just yesterday we did a show, but it was way back last year. Yeah, it was like uh, like a year ago. It was. It was 2018 was the yeah, last show. Yeah, so you're right. Welcome back. This is our first show for 2019, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thanks for stopping by. It's a gorgeous cold morning. Yeah. Bravo. No rain or snow. Bravo. No yeah. rain or snow. Really cold. It's like everybody's kind of <laughs> coming into the room yeah. while they, they're I'll just warming up their yeah. clap right now. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, what do we got going? We got uh, we got the prologue. Yep. Uh, we usually do, uh, and then we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the something here. Yeah. I'm getting sleepy just looking at it. Uh, we got our jokes <laughs> of the day. We got trivia. We got uh, facts of the day. Trivia answers and our ever popular birthday minutes. So uh, uh, cuddle in, grab your cup of coffee. Uh, and we're going to be right back, won't we, we Joel? We will uh, be right back. Okay, here we go. From the Somerset Studios in Westchester, Pennsylvania, it's Smackin' Jack Live with your co-hosts, Keith and Joel Wonderman. Okay, here we are. We've got our new morning, soundboard. Folks. Yeah, good morning. And I forgot to say what time it was. Nobody knows what time it is if I don't say it. What time is it, Keith? Uh, well, it's time for the Smack and Jack Live once again. Right. Well, yeah. you know, uh, we were off last week. Yeah, so we're a little knows, off then. We are a little rusty. Yes. And everybody knows that the two of us don't need more time to get <laughs> uh, rusty. To get rusty, yes. You know, if we, if we uh, can pass our rustiness off to the New Orleans Saints, Oh, for the upcoming weekend game. Yes, he yes. He's got this one in the back, yeah. right? He goes out of that Shut one in the back. <laughs> awesome. Woohoo! All right, Joel, what's going on today? Okay, so what we got um, going. We wanted to do a little recap. We know our audience is nationwide, and maybe uh, not not as many people care about the Eagles or the Eagles Bears game. Yes, as maybe we do or did from last <laughs> week. But uh, going into the game, you know, I was like, all right, Eagles made the playoffs. They kind of limped in there. Um, actually, they came in strong, but the whole season was kind of a yes uh, uphill you know, battle. Yeah, what's going on? So uh, up turned up. out to be an awesome game. Came right down to the last play. So we wanted to uh, we wanted to share <coughs> some events of that that very last play that we uh, we saw of the game that that essentially ended the game and ended the Bears season and and let the uh, <coughs> Ramos won't cough the whole show. That's fine. That's you do your coffee. Yeah. Grab a little water if you need to. Yep. Uh, so we're going to show a little bit of that. We're going to show a little bit of crowd reaction. Okay. And um, Cody Parkey actually stopped by the Flyers game. Oh, wow. As, yeah, as a, as a guest fan wow. of the Flyers. Um, so he, Wonder he how did, that went. Yeah. I guess, so guess we'll find we'll, out. We'll find out. Yeah, yeah. so we'll, oh, we'll oh. see a little bit about uh, Cody Parkey at the Flyers game this past week. Okay. Um, so let's see uh, what all the hubbub was about. So... Here it's called the double doink. The double doink, as uh, coined by um, uh, Chris Collingsworth. Okay. Oh, oh the do okay. he double doinked it. Okay, so so here we go. Here is the play in question. Awesome. If you ever think you have a bad day at work, boy, yeah, I tell you, just, just think be, of that guy. Just be that guy there. Holy right? cow. Right? So there is the double <laughs> doink as coined by Chris Con. We have to see it again in real time here. Oh, right about there. I was like, oh, don't go in, don't go in. And then, and then I had to wait until the referee said, didn't Yeah, I know. Because I didn't believe yep. it didn't go over. I thought. You know, Eagles luck, it would bounce in somehow. Yep, there he said, double dunk. <laughs> double oh, that's hilarious. Okay. Uh, All right, so alrighty. let's go on to the... Uh, 
Hopefully, we'll have some more shots next week of, uh, of the, some, some yeah, good something stuff. magical yes. happening. Okay, yeah. so here is some fan reaction um, uh, from s some Chicago fans. This is great. <laughs> oh no! No! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is so sad to watch. Uh, it's so sad to watch. <laughs> okay, oh, so yeah. you can you can find that one on YouTube. Now, the the, the one that I think is most important is um, <clears throat> is that um, Cody Parkey yes showed up to uh, the Flyers game for a kind of like an encore performance, if you will. So okay. let's take a look at that footage from the Flyers game. Yeah, I haven't seen this yet. Yeah, so. and, and here we go. I don't know if we have any sound for this one. Cody Parkey challenge, here we go. Car there he is, there we go. Ah! Doink! Doink! Uh, Doink! Uh, uh, Another uh, one! Uh, <laughs> And then uh, he tries to leave. Cody tries to get out of the stands. He has some issues going on. Oh no, <laughs> man! Oh, he was struggling. He was struggling. He was lucky uh, to get out of the funny. stadium. Yes, yes. You know, so that was an encore performance. Oh, that's funny. Of uh, oh goodness sakes. Oh boy, I tell you, poor guy. He's just gonna have to leave the planet. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> so yes. As it turns out, I think that that um, I think the NFL ruled that a blocked. Kick. Okay. Because yeah, because it, uh, it was tapped just it, very slightly. It was yeah. tipped. Yeah. And somebody tell us out there. Um, somebody tell us out there who. Who was the player who tapped the ball? Yeah, that's a good one. Because I can't remember it. So I can't remember either. I was right thinking now. this morning. You know, we talk about Foles. We talk about the defense, the offense, and the player who actually tipped the ball. I when I heard his name, I was like, "Wow, I didn't know he played on the Eagles." Yeah, right. You know, who is the guy to tip the ball? He may be the hero of the season. Yes, right. And they, they kind of play. I didn't know that until like a couple days later that it was actually tapped a little yeah, bit. Yeah, well, know, they, they didn't even mention it. Yeah, but it was, it was tipped just yep. a little bit mm -hmm. and just he, enough to push it over to the. Even he said he didn't think he got enough of it to make a difference. Yeah, but uh, apparently, you know, they yeah. got that fine video and man, it's and all that. Yeah, so uh, we're so happy that he could stop by the Flyers game. Um, and do an encore performance. All Devin, right, folks. He Devin Hester. I knew Brad would get oh, it pretty yes. quickly. Thanks, Hester, Brad. That's that's yeah. Name, yeah. So kudos, Devin. Yes, yes. Do it again this week. Yeah, do it again this week. All right. So go, birds. Get all your gear and yes, right. all your rituals down <laughs> right. for this weekend. Yes. We'll, we'll have the same be, show next boy, it's week. It's going right? to be a, a nail biter, uh, pinching white and knuckle the whole thing. Yeah. So. All right, what's up? What Moving else on. we got going? All right, so let's talk about. Uh, we do need to get something serious in here today. So last night, when I woke up from my nap, I thought, you know what? We can talk about naps tomorrow on the show. Um, because one of my favorite hobbies. I'll yeah, be nap, yeah, napping is cool. Yeah. Napping is cool. Um, some some people nap, you know, daily. Mm -hmm. Some people don't nap, and some people don't nap because they. It's viewed, and this is a little bit of my research. It's viewed as, uh, you know, being lazy, or uh, you know, whatever. You're right. It's like a stigmatism, mm -hmm, or right. a, whatever we call that stigmatism. Stigmatism, no. St <laughs> no stigma. it's a, what stigma. is that word? What's the word I'm looking it's for? A stigma, right? Stigma. I don't know. Stigma. <laughs> is it stigmatism something in your eye? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I think the other one has to do with your hand. What's that? Uh, uh, I don't a know. Religious thing. Uh, stigmata, right? I guess you know some people start bleeding in their hands. It's like a oh, like a yeah, that right. Either that or they slip with a knife. Yeah, yes. You're okay, right. so anyway, let's get back to napping. So right. did a little research on napping here. So let's take a look at the um, what website did we go to for the napping? Uh, this is uh, the Mayo Clinic. Okay, so the benefits of napping. Napping offers various benefits for healthy adults, including relaxation, obviously, reduce fatigue, increase alertness, improve mood. Improved performance, including quicker reaction time and better memory. No, no kidding. No. Um, drawbacks of napping. Napping isn't for everyone. Some people simply can't sleep during the day or have trouble sleeping in places other than their own beds, which napping sometimes requires. Okay. Napping can also have negative effects such as sleep inertia. You might feel groggy and disoriented after waking up from a nap. 
nighttime sleep problems. Short naps generally don't affect net nighttime sleep quality for most people, but if you experience insomnia or poor sleep quality at night, napping might worsen these problems. Long or frequent naps might interfere with uh, nighttime sleep. Mm -hmm. When should I consider napping? Um, when you experience fatigue. Not during the show. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Nobody's allowed to Just, nap yeah, right yeah, now, yeah. folks. No, nobody yeah, falls. Don't, don't let that uh, <laughs> creep into your mind. Experience when you experience fatigue uh, or about to experience sleep loss, for example, due to a long work shift coming up. Um, want to make planned naps part of one of uh, your daily routine. Um, if you have sudden increased need for naps, and it means you're feeling sleepy and all that, uh, check with your doctor. Maybe some of your medication, or maybe something else is going on. If all of a sudden you feel like you need to take a nap, best way to keep a nap or take a nap: keep them short. Uh, take naps in the early afternoon, or uh, create a restful environment. So, a couple things I want to talk about on this is um, uh, I, I think all this is spot on right there. Because after I take a nap, I wake up and I. And I think, okay, now I need to do this, this, and this. And it kind of clears my and mind. resets your, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, before I take the nap, sometimes I'm like, oh, my goodness, what do I need to do? Now, of course, obviously, it's school. I'm, you know, I'm right. on the routine and all that. Drawbacks of napping, and we were just talking about this before the show, is sleep inertia. So that is a term used for once you start getting into more of a deep sleep. Okay. So if you're sleeping, if you're napping for um, like over a half hour, and then you wake up, and whoa, it takes you forever to get back into that, Yes, and that's right? the way <clears throat> so, my naps are, yeah. So they're suggesting naps between 10 and 20 minutes. And I actually set my alarm for either, depending on how much time I have, like 15, 16, or 17 minutes. Okay. Um, so even last night, let me get out of the slide here. Even last night, I took a nap. It was 7 o'clock, 7 o'clock in the evening, because I just uh, got home with the pizza at like 6.15, mm -hmm. I wanted to go out for a run, didn't go for the run because I was hungry and it was just really cold out mm -hmm. and it was kind of late. So we had dinner and I thought, you know what, uh, I'm, I'm sleepy, I'm going to take my nap. So at 7 o'clock I took a nap from 7 o'clock to about 7.15, woke up and I was like, oh, man, I could have slept for another hour, mm -hmm. but I didn't and got up and did what I needed to do and it did not affect me going to sleep later that night okay. or later yeah. last night. Yeah. So. Good. So what are your views on uh, napping, Brother uh, Keith? Well, I think it's, I, I love naps. I've always loved naps. And I remember back when I had the house, I'd come home and cut the grass or something like that. It's like, I'm going to take a 10 minute nap and boom. But like you were saying about the sleep inertia, I think I nap too long when I nap mm -hmm. because, and it seems like I, I never feel like that at night because I guess when you wake up and you're disoriented, you just roll over and go back to sleep. Sure. Yeah. Uh, but when I... Take a nap in the afternoon. Sometimes it is too long, and I wake up, and it's just like I am yeah, completely out of it. Yeah, yeah. I'm like yeah. come out of a coma or something I've, I've like that. I've had that happen to me before yeah. too. So, uh, yeah. So if you're afraid to take a nap because of feeling like that, then my recommendation, and I've read this too, is just you know keep it short. You know, ten to fifteen yeah, minutes. Set the alarm is a good idea. Set and the I alarm rarely... for fifteen yeah. minutes. Mm -hmm. um, and you were saying you feel like you want to fall asleep. Well, believe it or not, in fifteen minutes. You know, I'm laying there, laying there. Oh, I'm not going to fall asleep. The next thing, the alarm goes off. It's like, whoa, I just fell asleep. I felt yep, like I was yep. asleep for an hour. Mm -hmm. I was asleep for five minutes. Yeah. So, and, and it, it does, uh, you know, rejuvenate. I pop back up and get back to work. So, Good. all right. That, so that's our little bit of uh, learning experience here on Smack and Jack today. Uh, which can So cover, it's good to nap. It is great to nap. Good to nap. That's good because good the Lenderman's... Uh, Lettermans are good at sleeping. I, yeah, we this do side of good. the family, anyway. So, we do pretty uh, yeah, well. yeah. <clears throat> so, all right, let's move on. Okay. Joke of the day. All right, time, let's folks. get I know into you're the all joke tuned of the day. in for joke of the day. And guess let's what, Uncle going. Brad? Guess yeah, what's back? It's guess back. what's back? It's back. <laughs> so, again, don't blame us. We had nothing to do with this one, folks. Uh, blame Brad. All right, you ready with a little percussion? Uh, yes, yep. Uh, do you know where any of the buttons are here? No, we're going to. Oops. Uh, or my drumsticks are either. Uh, okay, <laughs> yep. All right. What did the soda say to the bottle opener? What? Hey, can you help me find my pop? <laughs> That's good. That's good. All right. All right. Why was the pantry? Can you just hit it again? And it they will stop. stop. Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Why was the pantry so good at telling the future? Why? It knew what was in store. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Two more, folks. <clears throat> Two more, right where they came from. What did the broom say to the dustpan? What? Let's make a clean sweep. 
Last one. Get out of here. That's Why does funny. the toast like the knife? Why? Because the knife butters him up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do you want? I guess that was appropriate. <laughs> yes, why not? Very good, very good, very good. Okay. So in case you're wondering, folks, we have a new soundboard here, and I can actually unplug it here. I had to take the iPad out of its case because I couldn't fit the uh, the, the input wire. Was not case friendly. Yeah. So this is called um, Soundboard Studio Free, and you get a bunch of different boards. Like I have a bunch of boards I can um, load up here. <laughs> oh, it's kind of hard to see, but um, you know, there you, you download yeah. the sounds from the app that we had before, which I can't remember the name. Uh, if you go back to our show last time, you'll you'll see it. Download the sounds to um, Google Drive, and then upload them to that app. <clears throat> okay. And then you can shorten them, lengthen them, and it'll take any length sound as well. Okay. Some of these apps will only take like a 10 second sound. sound so bike. you can so have, you can have okay. we could put a whole show on there. Nice, okay. Not that we'd want to you know, uh, play a whole show you could have like our a, show. If we wanted to stream in the back, you could probably have a nice stream yeah. rustling by. Yeah, we could do that. Which we don't, because then, then you... Because that would just mind. be weird. Yeah, and then you have to take a break and go to bed. Yeah. All right, shall we get on to uh, <coughs> the trivia? Yeah, sure, let's do that. All right, that. so yep. folks, mm -hmm. get your, uh, your fingers ready yep. to go. Yep. Ready to respond because we have some trivia coming up here. Um, let's go to this one, and that takes us here. All right. Number one, according to the lyrics of the hit Queen song, Killer Queen Perfume, I'm sorry, Killer Queen, perfume came naturally from where? Hmm. Hmm. Ferdinand III was the longest reigning monarch of what former kingdom? Hmm. Okay. Tasmania is an isolated island state belonging to which country? Goodness, these are hmm. all kind of... Which American actor performs music under the stage name Childish Gambino? Uh, is that A.S.A. Gambino? Yeah. I, I want to yeah. say that word differently, but... The Portuguese motto for Ordorme e Progresso is found on which country's national flag? You like my accent on that yeah, one? Yeah, that doesn't <laughs> that was, sound Portuguese. That's pretty but, uh, <laughs> Girl with a pearl earring is an oil painting by which Dutch golden age painter? Oh, I should know that. You should know that one. How many electrons does a hydrogen atom have? Hmm. Yeah, I you know what? I think know we're going to stop there. Is that all right, folks? Yeah. We have a few more. Uh, how many more do we have here? Oh, let's do the, the last three. What song does the Disney film Coco won... Um, won the 2018 Academy Award for Best Original Song. What song from the Disney film Coco won the 2018 Academy Award for Best Original Song? Hmm. In the X-Men franchise, Hale, uh, how do you say her name? Hale Bear? Halle Berry. Halle Berry Halle. played the role of which character? And the last one, a blunderbuss is an obsolete type of what? Hmm. Okay, so let's go back to the top. Okay. Um, Queen song killer, uh, perform, uh, perfume came naturally from where? Ferdinand III, longest reigning monarch of what former kingdom? Tasmania is an isolated island belonging to which country? Which American actor performs music under the stage name Childish Giambino? Hmm. I don't know if that was any better. Portuguese motto, Ordorm e Progresso, is found on which country's national flag? Girl with a pearl earring is an oil painting by which um, Dutch Golden Age painter? How many electrons does hydrogen and atom, atom have? What song from the Disney film Coco won the 2018 Academy Award for Best Original Song? And the X-Men franchise, Halle Berry, played the role of which character? And a blunderbuss is an obsolete type of what? So go ahead and put in your um, responses here. And we will get back to yeah. you. Okay. But before we do that, yeah. let's we get got some, on. We got some answers we filing some answers in already. Filing? Yes, right. yes. So before we do that, okay. let's go on to our uh, trivia our facts of the facts day. of the day, yes. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's Albert see Einstein happens. walked three miles a day, while Darwin went for three forty-five minute walks every day. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. You know, exercise. Yes. Exercise. Yeah. Okay. The London Bridge, built in the eighteen thirties, was dismantled in nineteen sixty-seven and relocated to Arizona. I think that's something that we probably know. I wouldn't mind yes. going to see that. It, that's yeah, it would be interesting, neat. right? Mm -hmm. An estimated 50 to 80% of all life on Earth is found under the ocean surface, and the oceans contain 99% of the living space on the planet. Wow. Yeah. Charles Darwin was the first to put wheels on an office chair. 
creating the modern office chair. Wow, no kidding. Yeah, thank you, Charles. Now, Chucky. was that was that um, intelligent design, or was that, oh, had I known that I can't do it? You know, the argument that Darwinism or... Yes, uh, right. Well, <clears throat> yeah, right. Was it Darwinism, or was I, it... I think this one must have been Darwin, yeah. Darwinism, okay. yeah. <laughs> Dragonflies can get fat. They become less successful at finding a mate. Isn't that kind of true across all species? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yep. You just yeah. give up and say, yeah, I don't put it. Notre Dame, one of Paris's oldest edifices, was almost demolished in the 19th century and was only saved by Victor Hugo, who planted it back in the public heart and consciousness through his novel. Wow, oh, okay. Yeah, interesting. If you tickle a rat every day, it'll start laughing as soon as it sees you. So those rats you wow, have around, yeah, you know, well, just start good. tickling them and then blah, 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 blah. The world <laughs> record for the most <laughs> naked people on a roller coaster is 102. Oh, I'm sorry. What? what uh, say that one more time. I was reading our The world our record for the most naked people on a roller coaster is 102. Now, I would have thought it would be more like 103 or 4. Isn't it kind of weird? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Last one. Underneath the uh, Yes, news. Leslie, you are supposed to answer the questions, but uh, answer them, and then we'll get back to yeah, see we'll, if you've, you've gotten them right. Yeah, we'll get back to you. Underneath the avenues and boulevards of southern Paris, France, there are ossuaries holding the remains of more than 6 million people. I find that just yeah. um, and I've been to Paris and I didn't know about this until after I was in Paris and that'd be really neat to see sometime yeah it's uh, just during very, the day uh, when it's light out yeah or it would probably not yeah. be light well, out. well wouldn't it be too light down no, there I think, but no. then you just find it's 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 not really spooky it's more like um, macabre yeah it's just like why you're in awe and it's yeah very I don't know all right, let's go back to these answers, folks, because okay. I have no okay, idea. Is everybody ready now? What the answer is to any of these? We still got sound going on out there. Yeah. All right. Yep. So here we go. Let's we see got a couple so far. Let's. Uh, yeah. Who, let me scroll who's back. Who's chiming to, in back there or over there? Uh, Hester. That was the. No, that was the. That was the eagle. That was a different question. <laughs> right. Okay. So if you get it right, just chime in. Okay. Yay, I got that one right. Or, okay. No, I got that one incorrect. All right, here we go. According to the lyrics of the Queen song, Killer Queen, perfume came naturally from... I don't even know that part of the lyric. I, yeah, I, I, I Paris! Paris. Oh, okay. Came right. naturally from Paris, where under the streets they have all those right. people. Yeah. So it's kind of... Pungy. <laughs> <laughs> Ferdinand III was the longest reigning monarch of what former kingdom? Uh, now, do we have... Do we have an answer for that one? Uh, uh, I see in Australia. Australia. And I'm wondering if she meant Austria. Brazil. All right. Well, here we go. Sicily. Sicily. Ah, Sicily. Okay. All right. Tasmania is an isolated island state belonging to which country? All right. Uh, Let's see what we have there. Who do we have? Um, answer is... Australia. Oh, okay. That's where Barbara's. Yeah, okay. Okay. Right, she got that Great right. Great job. All right. Yeah. Great right. Job, Tasmania. Yeah. Right. All right. Which American actor performs music under the stage name Chidas Gambino? Uh, how do you American say that word? Performs. Okay. Here we go. Gambino. Donald Glover. Donald Glover. And eh. that's not. Well, I don't know. It's not the guy. Not, from, not a name that I know. Donald Glover. What was the? Glover from the uh, Portuguese motto yeah. Odem e Progresso is found on which country's national flag? Uh, I think got, that one? I think Barbara has a Brazil. I would say, uh, yeah, All right, Portugal. Let's find out. Brazil. Oh, very good, Bravo. very good. Yeah, yeah. Bravo. Uh, yeah. All right. Girl with pearl earring is an oil painting by which Dutch uh, golden page painter? Goodness. Does anybody get this one? Johannes Vermeer. Ah, uh, Vermeer. Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, and he more. also he also invented uh, uh, when you take wood and you, and you you shave it really thin and you glue it to another piece of wood. It's called wood Vermeer. I think it's called wood Vermeer. I knew you were getting to that. I was like, I'm way heady on this one, dude. How many electrons does hydrogen atom have? Well, we were just talking about this the other day, uh, and the answer is one. Okay. Actually, we weren't talking about that at all. All right, wait. What song from <laughs> Disney film Coco won the 2018 Academy Award for Best Original Song? Oh, I've got no and idea. it is Remember Me. Remember mm, Me. I didn't even know the, the, the movie. X-Men film franchise Halle Berry played the role of what character? 
Storm. Storm. All right, last one. A blunderbuss is an obsolete type of what? Firearm. Okay. Mm, yeah, right. I'm, yeah, I'm right. they were, they were with tough. the. Uh, they were tough. Yeah, Thanks was, for playing along, guys. Yeah, I was pretty much on the uh, have Rembrandt. That was close. That was. Uh, I think that's the same Vermeer and, and Rembrandt in the You're same like in the same uh, genre of paintings. Gotcha. Yes, yes. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for playing along, folks. I think that brings us to the birthday minute. Birthday minute. Yeah. Birthday yeah. minute. Ever popular okay. birthday minute. Boy, so this, this this first sh show. <clears throat> I promise we haven't been drinking before the show. Yeah. Right there, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's you know having a week off. You know it does. It's it rust. Take it, yeah. Yeah. Imagine rust, if you yeah. had three weeks. Nah. Off. We'll never do it. Yeah, we, we just can't. Kind of nope. like that team that's going to... Anyway. Yeah, right. Uh, anyway, all right, here we go. Off to the birthday minute, okay. folks. And now it's time for the Smack oh. Jack birthday minute. Birthday minute. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh. All right, we're having a little oh, bit of a meltdown. Man. I have to get we're out another hat, throw folks. That one yeah, out. The, the, red, the red hats, man, they're, yeah. they're just going down. All right, so I'm going to have to step out of the frame for a minute. Keith's okay. going to have to uh, improvise. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Well, what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to read off yeah, our, uh, our, our uh, celebrity, <clears throat> celebrity birthdays uh, today. This day in 1966, Rob Zombie from the band uh, White Zombie and his own uh, rocker there, uh, Rob Zombie, born 1966. Howard Stern, the king of all media, until, of course, Smack and Jack showed up, uh, was born this day in 1954. Uh, Joe Frazier, uh, world famous boxer, born this day in 1944. Ray Price, country singer, goes way, way, way back to early country singers. He's made a lot of uh, uh, changes to country music. Uh, he was born this day in 1926. And writer Jack London was born this day in 1876. So that's quite a, uh, a, a Yay. lot of birthdays yeah, a lot worldwide. Of birthdays. And I think we got quite a few. Uh, locally here, our <laughs> friends and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, we didn't do that either. So <laughs> right <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what do we got closer to home, Joel? All right. So let's get on to our and that looks very nice, by home. the way. What's that? The new your new hat. Well, we, yeah, we have like a, yes. Uh, our our it, my it's, hat. It's almost like, like the wind's hat. blowing. Yeah, it's like, kind of it's nice oops. and straight. Yeah, it's a little drafty yes, in here, yeah, and that's why yeah, our hats yeah, are kind of tilted yeah. in mm -hmm. the way they are. Okay, so let's go to um. Let's go to today's or this week's birthdays. Okay. Um, and this is a great week of birthday celebration. Yes, it is. Okay? Yes, it is. All right. So let's start today, Saturday the 12th. We have Deb and Joy. Happy birthday, folks. Coming up tomorrow, we have Sunday the 13th. We have a birthday for Kathy and a birthday for Deanna. Happy birthday. Monday the, birthday. Monday the 14th is a... Huge day for birthdays. Well, it is. January the 14th. Historically, we, it is. January yes, the 14th. Yeah, yes, it's, yeah, it's a popular date. We have Ed, Fran, Janet, Mary Kay, and Ron. Yay, happy birthday, guys. Ooh, Monday. Enjoy happy your birthday. Day on Monday. That makes Monday just a little bit better, doesn't it? It does. It does. Yes. Okay. I'll, I'll feel better Monday. <laughs> Tuesday the 15th. January the 15th. We have Celia, Melissa, and Stephanie. Ooh, Yay. Happy birthday, happy birthday, guys. birthday, guys, on the 15th. On Wednesday, we have Jenny. Jenny Max birthday. Yes. Happy birthday. And we have Leslie. Happy birthday, Leslie. Leslie. You are on right now. Woo happy birthday. Leslie is watching right now. Happy birthday, Leslie. Hope you have a great day. And on Thursday, the 17th, we have Ed. Happy birthday, okay. Ed, on the 17th. Bravo. Friday, January the 18th, we have Carrie, Jessica, Kelly, and Scott. Ooh. Yay! Happy birthday on Friday the 18th. Yes. Yeah. And then, uh, happy birthday, everybody. Hey, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're not done. I don't think we're done with a birthday minute. What happened? Who well, did I forget? I, you forgot. I can't remember his name. He's a real doofus. A tall glass. <laughs> <laughs> Joel, my it brother like Joel. My me. brother Joel, the baby of the family, is turning. Well, we're not even going to say it, but he's a milestone this year. Yeah. His birthday no, is you can on. Say, you can say he's it. He's turning it's, 50. Yeah, it, the uh, big five uh, Absolutely me, incredible. So we're going to do so, a little bit of a birthday uh Everybody get together here. We're going to sing a little happy birthday here in a minute. I would love if everybody sang with us. All together, right? Yep, everybody at home. Coffee. Yep. Pick up your coffee. Pick up your coffee. That would make me real happy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Me. 
Happy birthday, dear Joel. Me. Happy birthday to you, me, and many more. Woohoo! Oh, I'm drop the thing. Woohoo! Cheers! 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 Happy All right, birthday. bravo! All right, blow it out before it's. All right, here we go. All right. Okay. All right. Shall we have some of that a little bit after? Yeah, I think we will. Okay, we're going to save I our I think it's edible. We're it. not quite sure. You know, it's, it's kind of weird what stores make and has we, we were afraid, but, our, uh, afraid uh, our cake would do a face plant yes, on, on yes, the floor. Yes, very, very, very good. Very good. Studio, right? But, uh, so thank you. Yeah, so, yes. man, big big day, right? Yeah, big day. Big All day. right, well, I think we're about done, Joel. Are we done? I mean, do we, we are. Want, yeah, we, we have a little bit of cake to have here. Yes, yes. And uh, big day ahead of us. Uh, I got a cake joke really quick for you. Okay. Uh, guy's got a, uh, it's not really a cake joke. This guy's in, in his kayak and he's, he's pedaling down the river. And it's a beautiful, beautiful day. And, uh, you know, he's really getting into it. And the sun starts going down. It's like, goodness sakes. You know, I've been out here a long time. It's like, I'm, I'm starting to get a little chilly because I'm in my kayak. So he, he builds a fire in his kayak to keep him warm and uh, burns through the bottom of the kayak and, it, and the kayak sinks. Uh, do you know what the moral of the story is, Joel? Uh, don't build a fire in a kayak? Well, it's uh, you can't have your kayak and heat it, too. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I will never tell another joke that's not written out of Brad's that's book. Right, uh, that's right, that's okay. right. All right, let's get ourselves yeah, yeah. out of okay. the birthday minute. Okay, here we go. Oh, I forgot the uh, outro. Whoops, oh, sorry, wrong this one. one. <laughs> and that was the Smash and Down Birthday Minute. Birthday Minute! Birthday Minute! Okay, you need to remove your hat. Uh oh. Hey, I'm rusty. What the heck is going on here? <laughs> Holy cow, new man. Year. Well, thank you for it's all not like those we haven't who done actually, this uh, Yeah. Thanks for all those who actually were on watching this entire show. Yes. And once again, us getting the rustiness out yes, of us. Yeah. Um, you know, getting the kinks out for the new year. And, and you know, what the heck? Uh, what the Hey, Myron's on. <laughs> Hysterical. I think Myron's watching a different show. But thank you anyway, Myron. <laughs> uh, well, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, we're looking forward better. to a, a, a yeah. great year. Mm -hmm. Again, this is our first show of 2019. Yep. We're gonna, again, we're going to forge ahead with uh, what we're doing with our website. Yes. Uh, the 4% group, how, where the progress is going there. Um, and we're still thinking about doing a couple of uh, remote shows. Remote shows. Uh, we're we're so, still in the thinking process. Yes, yep. Yeah, and we're going to do some more interviews. Uh, uh, we might. We actually had started with Myron at his uh, Sardo Jewelers not a couple of years ago. We just never got that going. So I think yeah, we're going to do thing more was, of that. We were getting year. all set up for that interview, yeah. and then he had like. Customers. Oh, when he had a customer. <laughs> See, I don't have that at my store. I don't have to worry about customers ever coming in, but he did. So yeah. Anyway, so so uh, yeah, stick, uh, stay tuned for that, and we're just going to have some fun stuff going on this year. So. All right, thank you for, uh, once again. Uh, thanks for stopping by, and you deserve a thought of your own. So be in touch. We'll see you we'll in see 2019. You next time. Yeah. All right, see you guys.